At the end of the lesson, the teacher gives students an opportunity to reflect on their performance. He asks them to suggest ways to improve their learning goals. All right, boys, absolutely super impressed about the way you went about things for this lesson. You took on board a lot of the things we were talking about and you really tried to apply them in the game setting. Take a few moments to stop and think about the things that we did well in that particular lesson. Things that we did well. And they can be things in regard to our skill development, our sportsmanship, any strategies that we used, but we really should highlight the things that we actually did well. Um, well, we did well getting into space in our game just then. Did you? Yeah. Can you give a good example? Um, well, we got a goal when we were all into space, like we had a perfect line and we just passed around and yeah, it went well. So. Fantastic. Okay, so on that occasion it worked. They were able to make sure they held those lines going forward and by chasing the space they gave themselves opportunities to score. I think we had really good sportsmanship and it really helped us. solved it really, really quickly. Excellent. Can you give me a specific example of that? Uh, well, we thought, I mean, some people thought it was offside, some people thought it was a penalty, and we just said, oh, just do a three, three bounces, and we thought it was really Fantastic. Okay, so an agreed strategy at the beginning, used it, solved the problem, got on with it. I particularly think our skill level, the way we controlled the ball, was outstanding, particularly on our preferred side. No matter how well we performed, which we certainly did today, there are always things that we can use, we can identify that we can improve on. Ben? Uh, running back quickly to make a good pass. So running the other way, okay, so it's really good fun running forward into space. We've got a chance of scoring, it's very exciting, but when there's a turnover, it's that discipline of running hard the other way. Max? When you have to go looking up or Okay, so vision, maybe, perhaps specifically on our non-preferred side. I thought we did it particularly well on our preferred side today, but particularly on our non-preferred side when we're controlling the ball or passing the ball, keep eyes up so you can see options up the field. Boys, I thought we did a fantastic job today, particularly impressed with our skill today. Opposite leg beside the ball, striking it out in front, opposite arm to kicking leg forward and away, and then following through at our target. So let's set some goals for further learning. When we set the goal, it needs to be specific. We need to be able to measure it, and we need to make sure that it's realistic for us and our busy schedules here at Brighton Grammar. Tom? Um, try and practice on our unpreferred foot. Okay, practice on our unpreferred foot. How might we go about actioning that goal? You want to follow on, Tom, and then Sam can have some input. We can just go home and kick the ball against the wall with our non-preferred foot. Okay, so you might set up a target, perhaps. Use your non-preferred foot five to ten times. Set yourself a, a marker and revisit that two or three times a week. In what ways do you make the learning goals explicit to your students within a class or learning sequence? What feedback strategies are most useful when catering for a group of students with diverse abilities?